So do you remember last week we spoke about Feedly? Well, Feedly doesn't always take every single website into its software. So today I'm gonna to be talking about bookmarking and how you can still save that information that's important to you, but actually save it to your browser so you can always go back to it when you wish to. A lot of websites might not necessarily have a blog on them. They might not have articles that are coming out on a regular basis. So the other place that I put information in is actually a bookmark it. So I use my browser to be able to put that website into a bookmark, which then I can go back to on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do for you today is just show you what that looks like. Now, um, I've got my website up here at the moment, and let's say that I've taken the URL here, so I've taken that the URL of my website, and I've put that into the Feedly, it's the Add Content box, but Feedly's not accepting it. But I do want to always come back to this website because it does give me some valuable information, or it's a place that I want to come back to, just do a little bit of research at a later date. So what I'm going to do here is, um, over on the right-hand side, so I use Google Chrome. I do recommend everybody uses Google Chrome. It's a great browser to use. This is my Warren Knight website. I come over to this little star that's over on the right hand side here and I click on this star. So as you can see here, it's brought up my name and it's brought up what folder do I want to put that into. So I have many folders that I could put that into. But let's say that this is something new that you want to do and you want to make a new folder. So you click the edit button so this is the edit button and you go to your bookmarks bar which is this is your bookmarks bar here which you can see i've got quite a few already and i want to make a new folder so this might be um people i want to follow so you've given your um, your folder a name and then you click save so you will notice that up here you've got that people i want to follow folder so that when I click on the folder, it automatically brings up my website, which if I click on that, then it automatically opens up the website. Just a little tip for you, I do recommend that you build your folders in a way of thinking about what's important to you. So if I share with you um, one of my uh, folders that I have here, you'll notice that it's got lots of folders inside of a folder. So the more granular that you can get with your research and the information, it'll help you get to that place very quickly and very easily. So that's bookmarks and how it can help you for your business. I've taken you on a journey of how you can find information and then apply that information to your business. So we looked at Google Alerts. The reason why we looked at Google Alerts is so that you can be informed of things that are being spoken about online. So when you get that information, you can click on that link and you can take that link and go and save it either into Feedly or into your bookmark. We spoke about social mention. Social mention is about not only the World Wide Web, but also all the different social networks. So when you come across something that's important to you, you can either take that, put it into Feedly, or you can go and bookmark it. So the journey that I brought you on through these four research tools is to start at a beginning because the information that is then collated on an ongoing basis by using Feedly because it's automated or the bookmarking tool giving you that information to go to when it's important for your business. Do always come back. I've got some fantastic tools and information that I'm going to share with you over the next couple of weeks. So please subscribe and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.